Hey everybody, Mark Luber here from Careers Out There. I just want to give you guys a quick and important interview tip. I spoke at a panel the other night on interviewing and salary negotiations at an event for the University of Michigan Alumni Association. I have a great track record when it comes to my own interviewing, but as a recruiter, I coached hundreds of people on their interviewing. And so after the panel, people lined up with questions and a couple questions repeated themselves. So I want to give you guys this video with the hopes that it helps those of you who share the same question. And the question was, when sitting down at a job interview, when given the question, so tell me about yourself, what you got? Should you, in the interest of all honesty, start off by answering that question and saying, I don't have this in your job description, but I do have that. Is that a good way to start the interview? And the answer is no. Remember that when you're going to a job interview, they have a need for someone to fill a certain role at their business. You have a certain skill set and talent set that you take with you wherever you go. It comes from your education, from your previous work experience, and from your natural gift. You want to believe in yourself and be confident in those skills. Now they have given you a shot. They've invited you in for an interview. They chose you. Whether it's from your resume or from people who told them something about you, they decided to give you a shot. That shot is the chance to tell them how you bring to the table what they need. Because this is all about their needs. So since you want them to want you, you have to focus on your strengths. Focus on what you bring to the table. Don't bring up what you don't bring to the table because that's a deal breaker if you start off that way. Think about it, if you're going on a date, you're not going to start off the date by saying, you know, usually I have really bad BO, but I smell pretty good tonight. You're not going to do that. Focus on what you've got. And you're being completely honest. You're focusing on what you have and what you honestly bring to the table. Now here's another reason to not dwell on what you don't have. They might decide, before you even come in for the interview, that they don't actually need this role to do that thing that you don't have. Or they might meet 10 people in this job interview process and none of them have it. So they're going to decide maybe to assign that one role to someone else at the business. And then all of a sudden, you're all on an even playing field. Or they might decide during the interview that they like you so much that they can overlook that thing that you don't have. So you don't want to bring it up and dwell on the negative because it might not even be an issue. Now maybe it is an issue. Maybe they're going to bring it up and say, hey, you don't have this. Be honest. Just like you were honest about your strengths, be honest about what you're missing. If you lie, if you misrepresent, if you fluff up what you don't have, you might get the job and then not be able to deliver the goods. And then they're going to fire you. You've made an enemy and gotten fired. There's no point in lying. But just like in the courtroom, just like on a trial, you want to use the strengths to shoot down the negative. If you watch the Casey Anthony trial, you saw the attorneys argue the facts that work in their favor to the jury. And if negative came up, they would try to shoot it down with the positive. And you do the same thing in an interview. Talk about what you have and what you bring to the table. Show them how you are the right person. If you're missing something, admit to it. And if it's small, maybe you can mitigate it. Maybe you can show, let's say they, they tell you, well, I see that you don't really have PowerPoint experience. We really wanted that. Well, I would say, you know what, I'm going to start a class tomorrow on PowerPoint and learn how to use it so I can deliver the goods and do PowerPoint by day one. And you take that class, you don't just say you're going to take it, you really have to take it. But you tell them that and maybe then it'll lessen the issue that you don't have it. So believe in yourself, be confident, and focus on your strengths. I hope this helps you guys. If you want me to speak at your school or event, please reach out to me. I'd love to consider that. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and the contact page at careersoutthere.com. If you're watching this on YouTube and it was helpful, please click the thumbs up. And normally on Careers Out There, we interview professionals from all kinds of career paths about what they do so you can learn right from the horse's mouth what it's really like to do that career. How do you break in? What's a typical day? And how do you succeed once you're there? We do this to help you find a career that fits you so you can love what you do. You can find our show on Blip TV, YouTube, free podcasts on iTunes, and of course at careersoutthere.com. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Mark Luber, and look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.